Hello, YouTube. Oh, I got something pretty special to show you today. It's a Hot Wheels candy striper. Now, this is a custom. It is not the real one. I cannot afford the real one. I actually think even if I could, I don't know if I would spend the $1,500 to $2,500 that this car is going for. So I ended up buying a custom, and even the customs go for a lot. Uh, right now, I think this might be the second or third most expensive car in my collection that I purchased, which is insane because it's a custom. Now... He did not attach it. He asked me if I wanted it attached or not. The guy I purchased, bought it from on eBay was a uh, customizer of it. And for what he charged, I don't think there's any way I could duplicate the paint job or the card. Now, it could be glued on here, but... Uh, I chose to have it loose so I could show it on here. So you can see it's a pretty well done copy. I might display it in that. Hang it on the wall. When I was looking for a custom one, I definitely was trying to find one where the person made a pretty good copy of the card. And the custom. I wanted one where the paint was well replicated. The decals were well replicated. And the same wheels. Which a lot of them you find do not have the same wheels. A lot of the customs. So, I could not be happier with the quality of this. I did peek at it. I've had it for a couple days now. Now, I started collecting around the time this came out in the RLC. There was only 4,000 of them made. Uh, as soon as they came out, they were selling for like $150, which at the time was more than any other RLCs. Uh, Might have got lucky and been able to get one a little cheaper than that, but uh, it quickly went up to like $250, then $450, then $550. And now, now you'd be lucky to touch this for any less than fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred. So just insane. But there was only four thousand of them made. And there are some really good customizers out there. Unfortunately, I can't find his business card anywhere. But he sent me a business card. I told him I'd give him a shout out. But he's a eBay seller and I think he did a hell of a job replicating the candy striper a lot of them the chrome trim is different on them uh, the wheels aren't the same uh, I mean just to buy a metal base one of these gassers it's going to cost you like 20 bucks and then you got to paint it and add all the decals and then the clear coat. And if you ever customized, any step of the way can mess up the paint job and you could have to start all over by stripping it. So to pay for one that was already done, plus a card, I don't have no way of duplicating that card. And I don't have no way of... Uh, Duplicating the paint job on this. But 
if I had his business card, it makes sense because he's the owner of a paint shop. So he's actually a professional car painter who owns a paint shop. So after seeing a bit his business card, it made a lot of sense why this gasser paint looks so incredible. And even though it's a custom, I'm still really happy to have it in the collection. Even though it's not the real candy striper, I think it will look pretty good in the collection next to the candy, or next to the other gassers I have. So we got the Dirty Blonde that I haven't put away yet that I cracked open in a previous video. Side by side with the Candy Striper. Now I was lucky enough to order the Volkswagen Candy Striper that just came out on the RLC. Uh, I should be getting it here, I'm thinking probably this week. Because the RLC has been shipping stuff out extremely fast. So, excited to get it. Not sure if I'm going to crack it open or not. It will never bring the prices that this brings. So, even though all the hype right now, they're selling for $150 to $250 on eBay. I think the Volkswagen's going to come down in the future. I think it's probably going to be a 70 to a hundred dollar casting because they made 20,000 of them this they only made 4,000 of and even though this ain't the real one I'm really really happy to have a a good knock off of it for the die cast collection definitely will look good in my gasser collection and I Searching for this on eBay, because I've been searching for a couple months, looking for a really good seller of one that did a really good representation of it. So, uh, along the way, I came across a couple others. That I threw in kind of like a lowball bid on. And I ended up winning. So this is from a different seller, not the same guy that did the candy striper, but really like the green color of this. Detailed the engine, the engine blocks even painted the same color as the intakes. one does have a plastic base and screwed together the candy striper was on a metal base which makes a difference when you're buying these to make customs these even the regular variations of these can go for quite a bit and uh, the cheap ones well they have like pink or red or green or blue windows they don't uh, they never have the right color windshield. Now the candy striper, I'm not sure if this window is the right color. I would have to look at the original one, but it's like a has a slight blue tint to it. But it's screwed together too. With little No, that looks like it's riveted back together actually. Which if it is, you'll never be taking that apart. Yeah, I don't buy very many customs at all. I uh, bought a couple Ken Block customs, which I have sitting right here. And now the Gasser customs. And then I have customs that other YouTubers have sent me, like Champion DJK and uh, Radar.
and guitarded and broke sent me a custom. So I don't have a whole lot of customs in the collection besides ones I've done. I do have this Ken Block. Not the greatest done. I actually have one of these that's professionally done that blows this one away. But have both variations here. So you had two variations of the Hoonicorn. Then we have another gasser I picked up because I threw in a couple low ball bids on some customs that I liked and uh, ended up winning a couple of them. A couple of them I didn't win. But really thought that was an awesome one. Really like the flames. I'm going to leave the Hot Wheels next to the Customs just so you can see how nice they all blend together. The engine is detailed out on this. To not bring out any of the 50 set or 55 gas or customs I've done uh, the one of them uh, is my most viewed video on YouTube so it's probably almost two years old now but uh, yeah a lot of people really liked it uh, I don't have mine accessible right now I don't think I've unpacked all my customs yet that I've done I'm waiting on a mass car display so I can display all my customs in it over by my workbench. And now since we looked at some really awesome customs, let's go ahead and look at some really awesome die cast I got from the Hobby Shop that I forgot to show on the Hobby Shop show. We got the 63 Chevy Impala here. This is a Johnny Lightning playing Mantis Air Street Freaks 100%. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It says 70% of my viewers are not subscribed, so please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Especially if you like seeing random awesome 164th diecast cars. So this came out in... 2003 it looks like pretty yellow crispy blister big old fat meats I think these tires would have been a lot skinnier gold metal base and plastic tires I was told to show under the hood. It doesn't have bad detail under the hood. Opens and closes nicely. These older Johnny Lightnings are real hit or miss from playing Manus, but uh, with all the other custom Lowrider and Palace coming out, probably should have saved this to show it with the uh, Auto Rolled and Palace. Uh, hobby exclusives that came out the low riders uh, haven't got them yet but definitely gonna need to pick them up for the auto roll collection I don't think they're gonna sell out too quick they don't have a truck bed on them they're not a silver auto but the next one's another Johnny lightning from the Plang Manus Air. And I kind of screwed up when I got this one. But I, you know what? For the price, I would have bought it anyways. This is a Dragsters USA. 
And this is uh, Collector's uh, Limited Edition, whatever, exclusive dragster photo. Uh, but this is a Hawaiian uh, drag car. Fennec replica. But I got it because I wanted to put it on a trailer behind the Silverado that Auto Roll just came out with in the same paint scheme. But unfortunately, the Auto Roll Silverado came out in blue. So I'm sure they'll eventually release it in red. Or I'm sure Johnny Lightning released this car in red. But one or the other, the colors don't match up. I got the blue Hawaiian truck and the red Hawaiian car. But you know what? Still really happy to have this for the collection. This has a metal base and plastic tires. It does look like it does open. Love the old funny cars that opened up like this. They don't do that anymore. Still really happy to have this in the collection. Let's see what year it came out. Forgot to show you guys. 1995. So this is an old Johnny here. And what's funny is this chip they show. That's a blue one that I need to match my auto roll truck. sure the ultra red of this looks awesome the auto rolled truck ultra red because it came out in blue so it be an ultra red the same paint scheme and the next one i have so these are all older this is a jada toys 164th scale Von Dutch, which this was a whole series, garage series they had. Diecast Collectible 72 Chevy Cheyenne. And this thing is yellowed. And came out in 2004. Just had my knife. There it is. Oh man, this plastic's all crunchy and brittle. Just wants to fall apart. And that's an awesome looking truck with a really awesome paint job. Screwed together, big fat meats. Jada was kind of killing it back in the day when nobody else was doing stuff like this. Comes with a big garage decal. Doesn't have no opening features. Good detail on the interior. Jada always put good interior detail. Awesome, awesome, really heavy casting. Extremely heavy. Awesome paint job, too. Love the flat gray. Skulls. The garage shop on the side. And the last one I got to show you is a 1986 Chevy Monte Carlo SS from Maisto Design for Marks for $339. And this Maisto is actually two scale. Where a lot of Maisto are not to scale. Rubber tires. Big 
fat meats in the back, skinnies up front, screwed together, is a plastic base. Metallic green paint, definitely a low rider. Rolls perfect. Rolls, everything rolls. Muscle on the license plate. Very awesome. Happy additions to the collection. Everyone I showed today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know which one was your favorite one. Kind of crazy. The two most expensive cars I've spent money on in my collection. Or the 55 gassers. The one with the shark mouth on it. Which I recently purchased. And then this candy striper here. Which is a custom. A replica. Never thought I'd pay that kind of money for a replica. But for a car that goes $1,500 to $2,500. I'm happy to have a well done replica in the collection. To represent it. And it is a very well done. So a huge shout out to the guy that, uh, the painter that customized this car and made this. Did a hell of a job making this. So a huge shout out to him. And a shout out to the other customizers who made these two. If any of you have or uh, happen to watch this video, comment down below. Because they are very well done. They will look awesome in my gasser collection. So let me know what your favorite casting was today. Let me know what you think of this old Jada. I think it's pretty freaking awesome. And the Maisto. A couple old Johnny Lightnings. Definitely hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, and leave comments. I enjoy reading all your comments, and have an awesome day.